what a giant killer. This is the Crestliner Fishhawk 1650, a boat that knocked all the judges off their feet. The Crestliner 1650 Fishhawk, surprise package. The Crestliner arrived in Queenscliff wearing an unmistakably precocious wrap, giving all the boats a direct hit, and man, it just kept offering up more, and more, and more. It's the softest riding aluminium boat of that sort of nature I have ever been in. In fact, it was phenomenal. For an aluminium boat to ride like that, it's just crazy. When we hit the water in this pocket dynamo, it quickly demolished any preconceptions that we might have had. Innovative design, outstanding build quality, and a performance that will blow your socks off. This little Crestliner has won many hearts at Australia's greatest boats in 2012. It's innovation from bow to stern. When you get on it, you can just see the finishes are impeccable on this thing. Manufactured in the USA, the Fishhawk features a unique aluminium transom with a marine ply core for strength and vibration absorption. Honestly, it's the equal of everything else that we've got here and then some. It's got a cool folding rear bench that doubles as a casting platform and uses some of the sexiest aluminium extrusions that we've seen on an alloy boat. They haven't left a stone unturned in this boat. Crestliner has thought of everything. For example, even the underside of the hatch lids are finished in a special protective coating and the walkthrough in the toughened glass windscreen is wide and clear. You can throw plastics off the front, um, you could fish bait in that off the back, you know, whiting fishing or whatever. This is a boat that, despite its compact 5.1 metre length, offers wide work areas at all points, front, back and side. Then there's the simple yet practical ideas, like the floor under the walkthrough that opens up to reveal a large, secure rod locker. Really uh, innovative ways of storing rods. It's thinking like this that excites us and continues to impress our judges even after voting is finished. On the water, this little boat was a real eye opener. Managing its backside, beautifully stable, doesn't get flighty in the air. It's not very big and it's only got a 60 horsepower Mercury fitted, but wow, did it perform! Crestliner recommend this boat be powered with a 70 horsepower outboard and it can handle anything up to a 90. We've got to say though, that little Bigfoot Merc with its oversized gearbox did a great job and really suited it well. A uh, little 60 horse Merc on the back, the four stroke, it's a great little motor. Even with the little 60 horsepower four, four stroke, uh, it's the Mercury Bigfoot motor. This one was set up beautifully, propped beautifully, ran beautifully, nice and smooth at idle and, and did everything right. A more versatile rig than a centre console, the Fishhawk 1650 has the makings of a ripper all rounder. What's surprising is it only has 12 degrees of dead rise and a relatively narrow 2.12 metre beam. Yet it has great stability and a ridiculous ride. I've got to say, I'm stepping back going, I was a bit wrong about the motor and I was certainly wrong about the Crestliner. That is a real contender. Unusual, but in a really, really good way. I was wrapped with it. The judges pounded the fishhawk through some pretty messy chop in southern Port Phillip Bay's rip and it took everything in its stride, just skipping from crest to crest. Sure, the boys got a little wet and a little cold at times. The conditions were pretty average. It didn't seem to bother any of them one bit. We still can't get the smiles off their faces. 